Like anything in life, anything worth having never came easy. So I'm expecting to be grilled. Hopefully at the end of it, we'll be walking away with a dragon and some investment. Hello dragons, my name's Craig Hill and I'm the owner of Landscapes for Learning Limited. I'm here today to ask for your investment of £50,000 in return for a 15% share of my company. Landscapes for Learning design, manufacture and source outdoor educational resources and consult with primary schools with regards to developing their outdoor learning spaces. We're increasingly living in a society where children spend a large proportion of their time staring at a screen. My goal as a former teacher and father of three is to get children outside, exploring the world around them and experiencing life firsthand whilst uh, facilitating learning through play. We've been working hard to develop a product range, often in collaboration with teachers, that have educational benefits. Starting with our very first mud kitchen just 17 months ago, we now offer over 90 different learning resources and we're continuously developing new and exciting pieces of equipment to add to our product range. I believe that together we can grow landscapes for learning to become a sound investment in our children's future development. Thank you for listening to me. You're welcome to come up and have a play on the seesaw or, or build a, a sandcastle. Um, and I look forward to any questions you might have. <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's I'll small. do the seesaw, go on. <laughs> it's a slick pitch from Craig Hill, who's offering 15% of his business that produces outdoor educational play sets. Up and down. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite fun, actually. In exchange for £50,000. See the point of this, Tooks, look. Yep, but the different weights. This is a first. Never seen dragons so interested. But to chalk up success in the den, <laughs> Craig will have to face the toughest test of all. It's great fun. Uh, thank you, Jenny. Interrogation by the dragons. Now playtime's over, we'll um, get on with some questions. <laughs> First up, Deborah Meaden. Right. Hi, Craig. Hello. Um, so, just so I'm clear, is it you, you, or yes. is it you and people in a workshop? We spent the first 12 months working out with a garage at the end of my garden. That's me on my own. It's me and one other now. And we build from scratch and say 95% of the products we sell. I offer, to a certain degree, a bespoke service to schools. Can you tell me what your average order value is per school? Yeah, absolutely. We tend to get orders between £2,000 and £5,000. So what's the process? You contact the school? No, the school, I, I haven't contacted any schools. You haven't contacted any schools? No, all the schools have contacted me through um, recommendations or referrals. Well, that's a first. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. <laughs> and what's the success rate per visit? By the time I'm in the school, they've spent the money with me. The notion that Craig's products sell themselves has got all of the dragon's attention. But Deborah Meaden wants to know if that means business really is booming. Craig, when did your year end? Is it the end of December? Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, it's oh, tomorrow. Great time to ask you what your turnover is for the year, then. Since 2017, we've turned over 185,000, which is operating at around a 49% gross profit margin. OK, I'm presuming you haven't taken a salary out of those, yes, have I you? Yes, I do. It's £1,000 a month. Are you taking dividends out? Yes. I left teaching after a period of depression. I couldn't continue in there. Um, so, as mine is the only source of income, we accrued quite a lot of debt. So I spent the last 12 months basically paying off my debt by taking dividends and, and making sure that I, I get rid of my personal debt. That was a priority for me. Craig? Yes. Just talk to me about you. What, what happened? Yeah, you OK. Now? So, um, I mean, I grew up on what was the largest uh, council estate in Europe at the time. I qualified as an art teacher, and then I worked in special educational needs. Um, my daughter had an accident where... Sorry. Right. She fell into a fire. She sort of ran at me on flames. I had to put her out. And both my hands caught fire. <laughs> so that just ruined me. I couldn't cope with it. 
So it was, it was about either carrying on and being useless at the job or making the decision to be with my family. And um, I made the second decision. I can't imagine what that must feel like. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty tough. Um, sorry, guys. You don't need Brought to apologise. Brought the move down a bit. No, I'm sorry. I need to apologise, you know. She's in good shape now, you know. She's, she bounced back. She just takes pride in her scars, you know, <laughs> so... Okay. There's a real touch of the educational piece here, and I can see with your background why, you've, why you're doing what you're doing. Where could you go in terms of scaling this? What's your dream? Yeah. Where I'd like to be is the, the go-to company that, right, we need outdoor educational resources. Who do we go to? Landscapes for Learning, and it should, it should roll off the tongue. Craig's turned a catastrophic event into the driving force behind his business. And it looks like his ambitious plans for the future have gone down well with Tuka Suleiman. I want to congratulate you. Oh, thanks, mate. For reinventing yourself. Cheers, mate. I think appreciate that. You are a great salesman. And in a way, you being the carpenter and building it is a waste. Okay. What concerns me is how could a dragon help you? You can do it on your own. Ah, oh, Tuka, I wish, I wish I like for you that that's your bread and butter. For me to take it from a company that's quite Craig centric to becoming a a company where there's there's reps and there's national distribution network. If you had two extra carpenters and you could go out and sell, what would your turnover be? I think I could probably get to 400,000 next year yeah. with a net of maybe 180. Craig, you said you're looking for, for a dragon to understand the potential of the business, but the numbers itself shows you the potential of the business. The schools are coming to you. So really, it's about your time being put more effectively and just getting the manufacturing sorted out. I'd love help with that. Why don't you build it up to a million pound business and then try and look for investment? I've never built up a million pound business. Well, I mean, you're on the way to doing it, right? I mean, I think in about three years, you could be there. I don't know if I've made this sound easier than it is. <laughs> it's been hard graft. Like. It's hard, but that's what I'm saying. You've done the difficult, you've proved the model. A lot of times businesses come into the den, they haven't proved a business model that actually works. What I would say is that I think what I'm looking for is somebody to recognise this potential and just point me in the right direction. Craig, I'll tell you where I'm at. I actually don't think you need a dragon. But, you know, I feel like I want to help you. You're doing a really good thing here. So I'm just going to give you an offer out there. I'm willing to share the 50,000 in any proportion with other dragons, but for 25%. OK. A bid from Tej Lalvani, who's looking for a joint investment at 25% equity rather than the 15 originally on offer. To seal a deal, Craig will need at least one other dragon to come on board. Is anybody willing to play ball? OK. I'll do the other half. I can't let this pass for your future. You're a legend, cheers, Duca. Between Tuka Suleiman and Tej Lalvani, Craig now has a full offer of £50,000, albeit for 10% more equity than he was willing to give away. Will Deborah Meaden want to join the party or make a rival bid? I'm going to tell you where I am. You present really well. Thank you. And you are inspirational. To pick yourself up and to do this is blinking inspiring. And I tell you what, that also tells me that, my goodness, you're resilient. You would do whatever it takes to get a business going. But when I sit in this chair, I'm a dragon. 
and I think it's a good business, but I don't think it's going to be a huge business. I won't be investing, so I wish you all the best, but I'm out. Thank you. Craig, my worry would be is if we all went in, um, then you'd probably go, yes, I'll have all of you. And then that would be a disaster no, no. because you probably wouldn't get the right focus and it wouldn't be the right thing at all. So with respect and with all my best wishes, uh, I'm out. Deborah Meaden and Jenny Campbell bow out of the deal, leaving just one more dragon to declare his hand. Is Peter Jones in or out? You right? Yeah, not doing bad, yeah. <laughs> um, Craig, the products that you've created, I think, are great. I mean, a mud kitchen, I think, is brilliant. A chalk board to create an outdoor table is clever. I'm sitting here trying to debate. You have an offer, and how much do I really believe in the business that actually the money that I invest, not only am I going to get that back because I'm an investor at the end of the day, but also how much of me and my time and that actually will help you drive and make a different business. I've made my decision now. And I'm going to say to you that I'm going to make you an offer. And I'm going to offer you all of the money. But I want 30% of the business. OK. Thank you. Do you want to go and think about it? Oh, yes, OK. <laughs> Cheers. Peter Jones muddies the waters by asking for 5% more than Tej Alvani and Tuka Suleiman's joint offer of 25%. The expertise of two dragons or the wisdom of just one? It's a tough choice for Craig. I, I, I really appreciate everybody's offers. Big decision to make, isn't it? It's a life-changing thing. I think it might be worth the 30%, Peter. So, if it's OK, I'd like to accept your offer. Wow. Very well done. Thank you. Good luck. Fantastic. Thank you, Vitaz. I really yeah, appreciate that. Well Thank you. I appreciate that. No, I want to give you a, dra oh. a dragon hug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dan. You're doing great. You're star. Thanks, Thanks very much, guys. Take care. Yes. Thank you. Bye, Craig. Oh. Well done, Peter. Well. Craig opts to give away more equity to successfully secure a deal with his dragon of choice. <laughs> I'm so pleased he walked out of here with a deal. Do you know what? Sometimes you have to hit rock bottom to mm. know. Yeah. He's more than an entrepreneur in waiting. Yeah, He's going to make yeah, it. Yeah, I agree. He's going to make it. I'm dead chuffed. I was overwhelmed with their belief in what, what, what we could achieve. Capitalism with a heart isn't, isn't a bad thing. <laughs>